engineering side. So I'm going to tell you a little bit about it, and then Adam is going to give you a demo. Um, first of all, we're very excited to be part of Widgets of the Wazoo Part 2. We were here in the front row for Widgets of the Wazoo Part 1, and we knew instantly that we had to be part of the second one, because what we're doing is so in line with what many of you are doing, so we wanted to be able to talk to you about it. Um, we are going to be up launching our app platform in the fall, and we just announced it two weeks ago. Uh, we're in a private beta now with a select group of launch partners. So if you think that your application might be a good fit, uh, by all means, please come to talk to us. So first, I just want to tell you a little bit about GLAM. Um, so here are some of GLAM's advertisers. Um, GLAM is basically an ad network with a twist. We call ourselves a vertical content network. There are 650 websites in the GLAM network in verticals of fashion, beauty, shopping, wellness. And what GLAM has been able to do is create this premium environment of websites, tying together premium content that we negotiate from video providers and, and other content providers with these websites, and create an environment where we're able to command very high CPMs and change the game for the publishers in our network. So basically, this is the GLAM media ecosystem users, advertisers, and media companies, and now we're adding a new layer, which is application services and developers, which is where you come in. Um, so what we've been able to do is tightly package the content that we negotiate from media companies with the websites in our network and um, create a very high CPM atmosphere for our publishers. And now we want to be able to do the same thing with developers. Um, so the platform is going to be different than the other platforms that you're familiar with. It's not the same as Facebook, it's not the same as MySpace, although it is based on open social and Google gadgets. Um, and in a nutshell, what we want to be able to do is fulfill our vision. And our vision is to offer um, websites that are independent, the same kind of functionality and content that a site with um, more technical resources and a bigger development budget, what they would have. So um, these applications could be anything from slideshows and photo galleries to um, something that would involve users like a wiki, where I might just have um, a website about shoes and I create a way for all my users to add information about them. So basically there are ways for publishers to add engagement and content that they wouldn't have access to otherwise. Um, for developers, what we're looking to do is to provide a new way to monetize and distribute applications. Um, obviously, there are a lot of challenges with monetizing applications on social networks. And um, because Glenn has been so successful in creating um, an economy where we can command high CPMs, we think that we can do something similar uh, for application developers. And Finally, the, the value for advertisers is that they can advertise where users are very, very engaged, but at the same time reach them in the context where they're comfortable and where the user is already focused on the same kind of product or experience. So Adam is going to walk you through what we've been working on. Um, this is a very beta demonstration of our application gallery. Great, thanks. So um, basically, so this is whoa. So this is um, this is the, the where publisher would come to uh, get applications. And basically, we're not trying to create a, a directory or a gallery for any application or widget in the universe. We're really focusing on applications that will work uh, for you know high quality websites. And one of the things we're doing is really focused on creating a, a distribution environment and platform that you know, provides security, fast page load times, manageability, those kinds of things that kind of create barriers for publishers to um, adopt applications and widgets. So, um, so I'm gonna, so the, so I'm gonna pick on uh, one of these, so this is what the publisher would do, and unfortunately. 20 seconds. I have to log in, darn. <laughs> um, uh, 14 seconds in. <laughs> uh, eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, one. Wow. 
I got a sense he bought drinks, so I'll give him another minute. Yeah. 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 <laughs> you can do it. One minute. Yeah, Go. Another minute? Oh, wow. <laughs> <laughs> Look what alcohol buys you. Yeah, it's charcuterie. This again, see where the connection is. Can you do it in a minute? <laughs> if it's like your bar. So, we have another tab open. So, here, I'll click on this link here. So, this is after the application's been installed. So, this is Lamb TV. Um, this is a uh, ransom. Random video <laughs> that was chosen. Um, so basically, this kind of shows off what, what Climb TV can do. So here we have some these content providers. We negotiate these deals. So we're providing APIs to contain content. Um, we're creating different views that give you more real estate, but yet you still have page views on the site. So there, we're not. You don't have a conflict of interest in terms of driving sites away. And uh, we can basically command. You can. You can have an ad API and, and make more money because you're between you and the develop the, the website and you because there's premium content and we're creating it. This is the environment that brand advertisers want. So I guess. Yeah. yeah. yeah.